Good evening, I'd like to call the Board of Public Works to order on this May 1st day. We'll start off with roll call. Clerk, if you could call the roll. Alderman Tom Grady. Here. Alderman Ted Grady. Here. Alderman Rapella. Here. Alderman Nichols. Here. Alderman Eisenach. Here. Alderman Sevnik. Here. Alderman Hammond. Here. Alderman Lewis. Here. All are present. Thank you. Uh, with that, is there any members from the public that uh, would like to talk about anything that is listed on this particular agenda? And, uh, it's Andrew Isabella Taylor, 545 Broad Street. Thank you, Alderman Subnick, for allowing public comment on public works. Um, the street use application for the Grunsky Runsky. Um, I just want to be assured that runners will not be in the road, that they will be on the sidewalk or the trail system, or are we going to be closing access to the streets um, with this new realignment, especially Racine Street? Um, then, regarding the Racine Street reconstruction, future reconstruction with the DOT, um, part of the project is getting temporary limited easements and permanent limited easements for utility work. Is Menashe Utilities, it doesn't specify if any of their telephone poles are going to be put underground. In this day and age, I know it's a huge expense, but what we did with the Racine Street and all the money that was stuck with the bridge, and we're still stuck with a pole on the south side, and Jimmy John's has four telephone poles sticking in their front yard. Underground utilities have to be looked at when we're doing these major projects. And I would strongly encourage the mayor who's on the utility commission to emphasize that because if we're ever going to get out of the horse and buggy days, we've got to get rid of those telephone poles. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else from the public that would like to speak? And this would be on item on the Board of Public Works. Yes, sir. All right. Your name and address, please. Uh, Chad Lewis, 1032 Grove Street. Um, and this is about the Grunsky Runsky also. Um, the agenda shows Saturday, September 30th. I'm not sure if that's changed, but as far as I know, the Grunsky Runsky is on August 12th. So, not sure if there was a change there. Uh, the other comment I'd like to make is in um, relation to uh, running on the sidewalk. That is, <laughs> having participated in that race before, um, a sidewalk run would be a challenge at best. There's a lot of runners and um, people are trying to pass each other and the sidewalk, if you're only running on the sidewalk, uh, it could be dangerous. Now I do know that there's been um, traffic cones and has been sectioned off before. There's generally been a police presence and they've handled it very safely. I know they've done it for many years. So just want to make sure that they're consistent doing that again this year because I uh, look forward to participating. Thank you. Thank you. Seeing there's no one else in the gallery, <laughs> I will move forward then to uh, the approval of the Board of Public Works minutes. Is there a motion? Alderman Rapella. Thank you. I'll make a thank you, Alderman Sevnik. I'll make a motion to approve the Board of Public Works uh, minutes from April 18th, 2023. Is there a second? Second by Alderman Ted Grady. Any corrections or changes? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, those minutes are approved. Let's see, I have department head, so that's still on, so if I hit that, it will, should go off or it just stays on? Nope, it goes off, all right. Moving forward then to uh, item E, discussion and action item, items, the first thing then, and then um, we can discuss some of those issues, Megan, if possible. Uh, I know that there were two issues, so um, the street use application, I guess I'll start with you to answer those questions and then um, I'll look for a recommendation. Sure, to address um, some of the questions that were brought up, um, as far as the date, we are um, looking to change the date to late September. It has um, historically been held in early to mid-August um, that, you know, as we grow as a department and as we compete with other uh, regional events in the, in the Fox Cities, we're looking to move away from that date to have less competition when it comes to that and hopefully grow this event. Okay. 
And as far as street usage, um, we are looking for the closure of Milwaukee. We would not be looking to close Racine. Um, typically when it comes to races and, and runs, you would have walkers on sidewalks and runners on the street or using the bike lanes. So um, Chief Thorne can speak more to that, but he, um, our staff has sat down with the department to talk about a safety plan related to that. And that's why we're looking for just the closure of Milwaukee Street as defined in the, in the plan and in your memo. Um, the rest would just be open um, with some safety measures put in place to protect the participants. And then the issue of sidewalks. Using the sidewalks, so like I just mentioned, typically we would just use put walkers on sidewalks, especially that early in the race um, when you might have you know a couple hundred participants because the usage of Racine is early on in the race. Sometimes they can be bunched up, so you're not going to want all runners and walkers on the sidewalks. That would actually create you know a, a greater hazard. You're going to want to spread them out, but use um, bike lanes and sidewalks to separate those walkers and runners. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any further questions from the members? Seeing none then, I would entertain a motion. No one wants to make a motion? Oh, I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the, the street use application for the grunsky runsky uh, race on the new date of Saturday, September 30th, 2023, uh, from 6 a.m. to 11.30 um, from the Menasha Parks and Recreation Department. Is there a second? Yeah, Motion has been made and seconded by Alderman Ted Grady. Any further discussion? Seeing none, um, let's just, let's take a roll call. Motion carries 8-0. Thank you. Next item for uh, us is the Racine Street Reconstruction Real Estate Acquisition. Um, I'll have Laura, the Public Works Director, first address this issue. Thank you, Alderman Sevenick. So just to introduce this, we had been approved a few years ago to receive a grant, a standard uh, service, excuse me, it's a service transportation grant, STP grant from the Wisconsin Department of Transportation. And this is for the road reconstruction of Racine Street from 3rd to 9th. And it will be completed in 2025, the road reconstruction and the storm sewer work. In 2024, we are anticipating water main and water lateral work and sanitary sewer and uh, lateral work for that under a local contract. So as a part of this project, and I would say this is very similar, if any of you recall, to the Broad Street project, uh, where we have to, because we're working under DOT regulation, are required to obtain TLEs, or temporary limited easements, and that is for the transition areas and sidewalk installation behind the sidewalk. So any, any grass transition, they do require temporary limited easements to perform the construction work. So a majority of the contract is, the, is that, TLEs, and then there are some permanent property acquisitions at some of the corners, and that's to get the sidewalks to be ADA accessible. So there are a few permanent properties uh, that we're looking at, or permanent areas we're looking at acquiring for that, and the remainder TLEs. So we're trying to do this in the most nominal fashion possible, the cheapest way possible. So the consult, we were provided two proposals, one by Jewel Associates and Engineers and the Highland Group, and um, we did go, our recommendation would be to go with the low bidder on that one. Um, they shown that they have worked with the, the same contractor in the past, or excuse me, consultant, the engineering consultant. And um, they provided some alternative options that we thought were interesting, such as a blitz meeting where we would allow the public to come in and, that are parties to this and try and get things done in as quickly of a fashion as possible. So their uh, not to exceed acquisition services is 116,626.17. And then if there are appraisal services required, so if the property owner does not settle with us, we would have to pursue getting appraisals done on some of those corner parcels that I spoke about. And they have a per parcel cost above and beyond the not to exceed. So we did in 2023 budget $100,000 for real estate, knowing that this would carry through into 2024, and that we would, once we kind of know where those dollar amounts shake out, we can budget for it in the 2024 cycle, any remaining amount. Um, 
we do need to have all of the property acquired, all of, all of this completed before August 1st of 2024. And that is when final plans, specifications, and estimates are due to the DOT for this contract. Any okay. other questions? Yeah, that you uh, there, may have? Was, there was a question about underground utilities as far as electric. So we did have a discussion when we were uh, talking water main with Menashe Utilities, and I know they were going to be looking at pricing to see if it would be feasible within their budget to do undergrounding of the telephone poles. I've not yet had a status since then, um, but I know they were pursuing that as an option. Okay. Any further questions from the committee? Looking for uh, a motion on item two. Alderman Rapella. Uh, thank you very much, Alderman Sevney. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve the Racine Street Reconstruction Real Estate Acquisition Services Award. Um, so do we there's a little bit more to that. Oh. A motion is recommend. I'll make it. A motion is recommended to the Common Council to award the real estate acquisition service contract to Jules Associates Engineering Incorporated for the Racine Street Third and Ninth Street reconstruction project, not to exceed $116,626.17, plus any additional appraisal reviews and service requirements to complete the project. Is there a second? I'll second it. Motion's been made and seconded by Alderman fancy. Rapella. Any further discussion? Seeing none, we'll take a roll call. Motion carries 8 0. Thank you. Um, we have a problem with this. It's all green. That's because she stole this. Oh, gotcha. She didn't turn it off yet. Sorry. Thank you. I had moved it and I thought maybe I did something to it. So, all right. Thank you. So uh, we'll move on to item three for payment to Don Hippis and Son. Is there uh, a motion? Alderman Rapella. Thank you. I'll make a motion for payment for the Donald Hippis and Sons Construction Incorporated MCM 09 22 00335 for 2023. Sanitary sewer and main. Uh, sanitary sewer and water main reconstruction for the cost of $143,846.15. This is payment number two. Is there a second? Second. Motion's been made and then seconded by Alderman Ted Grady. Any, Laura, did you want to address anything on this? Just to add that this is for the sanitary sewer, and sewer water main, water lateral, and sanitary lateral work that is occurring on 3rd Street at the moment. Okay, thank you. Randy, do you have a question or you're done? Nope. Okay. Seeing no one else has any further questions, uh, I would uh, ask that we take a vote. Motion carries 8 0. Thank you. Next item is our last item, and that is uh, the Taco Street Operations Agreement. You want to address that a little bit? Megan? Sir, so included in your packet is the annual agreement with the Wisconsin DOT. Um, this agreement was the same agreement that was outlined last year in anticipation that the bridge would have opened a little bit earlier and that we would have been operating remotely both bridges at that time. So the wording is the same. Um, the DOT um, is paying 50% of our labor-related costs. Um, to the operations or the remote operations of the Take a Street Bridge and then any material costs. There's not any anticipated material costs, but in case we would accrue any related to the Take a Street Bridge, we would bill them um, the full cost of those. Okay, any further discussions? There is a recommended motion. The Tego Street Bridge Operations Agreement. Second. The, okay. the staff recommend. Yeah, staff recommend. Can I read that? The Wisconsin DOT 
routine bridge maintenance and operation agreements for the Taco Street Bridge with the DOT for fiscal year 2024. Right. Motion's been made and then seconded by uh, Alderman Tom Grady. Any further discussion? No, well, I, I see your finger on your button, but I didn't know you were, okay. Um, okay, with that, then we'll take a roll call. Motion carries 8-0. Thank you. With the fact that we have no further business, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Motion's been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, we are adjourned. Good evening. <laughs>